Hello there, that was Gavin Mayhew just banging his head on his studio roof as it's a slopey one. Typical artist attic studio. And I'm going to attempt to show you how to do and use an oil stick. Now, an oil stick can also be known as oil on a stick, pigment on a stick, oil bar. Uh, it's a great, great medium. It's used for drawing, used for painting, can be done, used for either of those um, specialities. It's a very, very versatile medium. It's what it is, it's a pigment that's encased in like a wax and some sort of oil, a posh oil. Top quality wax and it creates this stick which is oil on a stick. You can use it without the use of thinners, you can use it without the use of brushes if you wish. You can just carry a set of these that go up to 50 different colours and you can go out sketching with them, you can work indoors with them, you can put it on thin if you do want to use thinners you can thin it down with thinners and also use it with oil paints and you can use it without the thinners and draw with it and paint with it by extra pressure and I'll show you this in this demonstration what I'm going to show you to do with drums and a drummer I want to create lots of movement within this set uh, this demo and I want to show you the versatility of the oil stick before we start what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the different types of things that you're going to need for your picture, for your painting. Now, we'll start off with the essential equipment. What we need is obviously the oil sticks themselves. Handy little holder there, give you a range from light to dark. You also need a surface to work on. Now there's white one there and there's a very dark one there. The reason I've got the two is I'm going to show you on the lighter one there, I'm going to show you how to do interesting different types of lines, how to blend and how to mix the colours. The dark one is what I'm going to do the demo on. Over in the corner we've got some cloths there to clean your fingers or to clean the sticks to re um, reshape them if you wish. There's a knife next to that you can also reshape them with next to the knife you'll see a little container that container can have the bits that you'll be cutting off your oil sticks if you want to shape them next to that is the graphite pencil to draw out your little design and also very very importantly what we've done is I've got some paper here to protect the surface I've got on the floor a cloth to protect the floor because if you drop any of these bits they get on your shoes it'll paddle everywhere can be quite messy and our aim is to not be messy but try and be very careful also very importantly gloves to protect your hand sometimes some artists like to use their hands get them really dirty and dive into the the paint or the medium that they're using and it becomes like part of them an extension of themselves but over to me again I've got my apron on that's to keep my clothes clean and the gloves I've only just found out about these gloves that what you can do because I used to have problems getting the gloves on sticking my fingers in and jiggling them around and all I needed to do somebody told me is to blow them whoopsie daisy like you would have blown and the fingers all stick out and there you go you should be able to get your hand in that quite easily if you do want to use thinners with your oil sticks then there's the thinners you need some brushes you get a little selection of brushes there's a brush dipper that you can put the thinners in you've already got your cloths if you want to clean your brushes with them and the palette if you want to mix your colours on like in the traditional way what I'd like to show you now are some of the works that I've done using the oil stick and as I'm actually focusing on 
instrumentalists to do with music, I'll still show you a selection. Remember, what I'm going to do for this demo is a drummer. And this is a guy here is obviously a saxophone player. And that's done with oil bar and acrylics. The acrylics, I, let, I did the basic colours to start with, let them dry, and then the oil bar went over the top of them. This here is a piano player. Belting across the keyboards from left to, left to right. Good old Jules Holland there inspired me with that one. And uh, this one's, uh, again, it's a mixture of oil bar and oil paints and acrylics. So it's got the whole three in that one, but finished off with the oil bars to do the linear stuff and the movement effects. One of my favourites, the one on the left here, unless you turn it upside down and put it the right way, which means it's on the right, is a guitarist. Very abstract. And that's again another mixture of the three acrylics, oil bar and oil paints. So you can mix your mediums, no problem. And then some couple of totally abstract ones there. The one on the left, very, very loose and flowing, full of movement. That's supposed to be like a hurricane effect. The one on the right, it's called fragmented. And I used the oil bar and oil paints again with that one with some acrylics but what I did is is for each different shape on there I tried to get a different textured effect which you can't really see unless you get really close up so um, yes you can paint over different textures using the oil bar and it picks up on that texture in a, an excellent way that you, you only get with I suppose oil pastels but saying that oil pastels they never dry when you put them in a frame, you have to have them set back so they don't touch the glass. That's a disadvantage to the oil pastels. The oil bar dries like an oil paint. So that will be dry, touch dry in a few days, and it will be proper, proper, proper dry for varnishing in six months time, just like you get with oil paints. But you can see the versatility of these, this medium. I love it, love it, love it. I'll stop there and... Mm. Oh, what the hell there? Something's a noisy there, sorry about that. Okay, right, well, I'm just going to explain that I do these videos on uh, YouTube as little tasters. And the tasters are for the real thing. The real thing you can catch on a site that's a proper international art site. And on that site there's professional artists and we all do demonstrations and tutorials. And the tutorials that I've done so far are to do with oil pastels, acrylics, oil bar, and the techniques and how to use those. And the subject matter what I've been doing is to do with movement. I've done some movement with dancers, I've done some movement with musicians, and I've done general sort of movement. Uh, in the video demonstrations. If you'd like to have a look at it, you can go and access it by going onto this site here. What, what, what? Dot art tutor dot com slash artist slash Gavin Mayhew. That's me. Gavin has got a capital G. Me, you've got a capital M, and that spells me. So have a go, go on the site and see, see what you think yourself. It's great for budding artists out there. How's my bump doing? I'll tell you what, I didn't have whack it on that last video. I've got a right sore head, but I suffer for my art.